On cold winter nights in the Chilterns, strange lights can often be seen in the forests and hills. And then there's the call of... While on the ground, mysterious markings of flour in the mud known in these circles as Shiggy. A closer look reveals a nighttime gathering of Father Christmas lookalikes. So there's a check, there's a check. And it's... On the left! And an angel. But far from being Santa imposters, these are just seasonally dressed runners following the trail laid by a hare. Imagine it's a cold, frosty night, the moon's shining, you're running down a narrow valley, you feel like a wolf. He's actually a hasher, part of one of the world's most widespread and popular running phenomena. Well, this worldwide craze has been going since 1938 when I personnel were so fed up with the food in their canteen in Kuala Lumpur, they called the food the hash. And so they decided to go for runs at lunchtime, setting trails around the area outside the canteen and it became known as hashing. This is one of the few in the UK that is a nighttime completely in the dark. Hash. I should point out the hare is human. Earlier on, Matt had marked a trail of flower blobs through the hills for the runners to follow. Well, the hare is to set a challenge. He wants everyone to have a good run, run for own abilities, but also run together as a group. To ensure this happens, there are three basic markings. There's a check, which is a circle of flowers. We're going to split. I don't know which way is which. From here, the right route could be any one of several footpaths. So while the slower runners catch up, the faster ones go and investigate before calling the pack on. There are also numbers to look out for. And that means the first four runners will have to go to the very back of the group. And we found that this is a very good way of keeping the pack together so the fast runners get to run loads and loads and the slower ones don't get left behind. Now most hash groups do run in daylight or in towns and cities at least at night but the High Wycombe group aren't put off by the dark. Well it's quite fun isn't it? Yeah. You can't go clear where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where we're running now. It makes you feel as if you're going an awful lot faster than you are. They have it seems developed the senses of an owl. They've never had a serious injury or lost anyone although there were times when I thought I might be the first. Oh dear, you can't see what's happening. Oh, Shiggy, stumped, and then trees at head height. Yeah, you don't know where to look. Don't look ahead. We're down at my feet. <laughs> Seven miles later, I felt as if we'd been gone days. But back at a pub, the hare is always thanked with the traditional hashing song <laughs> to celebrate another trail conquered. Mike Bushell, BBC News, in the Chilterns.